Hey, opposing good evening, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Borey. Please continue to subscribe down below. We're up on the easy huge widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. But this is going to be on Game 2 in the great defensive battle between the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Rangers. As in Game 1, the Rangers were able to get on the board by the nice setup to Philippe Heidel from Alexis Lafreniere. And then Ajo was able to score in that one. And then Ian Cole was able to score with that flutter puck into overtime. That one passed to Sturkin off of Lindgren's blade. A lot of deflection off of defenseman blades in this uh, playoffs, particularly also in that Colorado series. But in game two, another great defensive bout um, in this game that the Rangers were not able to be successful whatsoever. Granted, the Hurricanes were not successful in their power play either. But the Rangers were really unsuccessful in their power play as the game-winning goal was a shorthanded goal on the former forward. He's been a defenseman most of his career, but for those that don't remember, he did play forward some at the end of his career in New York. Brandon Smith was able to come in with Ajo as that's not a guy you want making the pass on a shorthanded break as he's able to pass it through the legs of the defenseman. Tira Vinen also picked up his seventh apple with the secondary assist, having a great playoff as an assist wizard. And then Ajo was able to thread the needle on the pass to Smith. And then from a turnover from Panarin, trying to send that puck up ice, um, Ajo was also able to get the winning, or not the winning goal, the second goal on an empty netter as he scored in the first two games of these series. One as a regular goal, <clears throat> um, the other as an empty net goal to seal the day. So the Carolina Hurricanes are sitting pretty in game one. They were able to prevail on OT on that Goal by Ian Cole, not the guy you would expect, but he was able to get it done. And then in Game 2, you have to give the stars of the game uh, to Brendan Smith for scoring the game-winning goal. And I would say to Sebastian Ajo for continuing to have a great game. He had an assist, and then he scored that empty net goal. And then I would have to throw it to Antti Ranta, who had some big saves at the end of this game particularly as well, to then lead to the empty net goal that was able to happen where it wouldn't have even been the case and it would have been potentially a 1-1 game in overtime if Ronta didn't make a couple of those saves in the late game pushed by the Rangers. The Rangers offense was pretty dead this entire game granted so was Carolina's. This series has been a very good defensive battle. The shots were 28 to 26. The chances were pretty low in game one. The shots were 21 to 22. The chances were pretty low in game two. So great defense, good goaltending in this series. It's kind of the battle thus far of who can get to two very literally, where last game it was who could get to one, and the special teams play hasn't necessarily, of course, been there either in this series, so we'll see if that comes to fruition going forward, because that's how I could see more goals coming to fruition in this series, and not every game being 2-1, 2-0, 3-1, uh, something like that, that's how I could see more goals coming if both teams could get going more in the special teams department, but great first two, great de defense, they played the game they want to play defensively the Carolina Hurricanes obviously they want to be able to push the offense more but the defense of the Rangers particularly Lingren has been phenomenal in this playoffs so they just haven't been able to get the goal scoring to win and the and the Hurricanes were just able to ink out enough just by a smidge goal scoring to be able to win these first two great job by Brendan Smith who's been able to step up and be that guy that's more of a 6-7 at this point of his career, but pr produce a little bit more than that in terms of defensively this year for the Carolina Hurricanes. He stepped up for them this year, and that's continued in the postseason. That's why he's a star of the game, Sebastian Ajo. And I would have to say, Antti Ranta and Tivo Tiravainen are kind of in lockstep in that game, but you would have to give it to Ranta just because of the big saves he was able to make at the end of the game to make sure that game stayed one nothing to leave the opportunity for Ajo to get the sealer with the empty net goal. This has been a reaction to Game 2 between the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Rangers. Game 3 of this series is going to be the 3-30 game tomorrow, where Game 3 of the Florida series, where Tampa leads 2-0, is going to be the 1-30 game tomorrow, for those that don't know. And then at 8 p.m. on ESPN2, that's going to be the Battle of Alberta Part 3 as it's tied 1-1 after the great game by Edmonton, which I'll recap before going to bed this evening. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe. Please subscribe down below or above on the easy use widget. Keep scrolling to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.